Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. My friend Nicole and I are at a shopping center today and we're gonna do some Christmas shopping. Uh, but mainly we just wanna go to the Pokemon Center because <laughs> I haven't been in a long time and there's some new merch out today that I'm really excited for. So let's go there first. I straightened her hair this morning. How do you like it? It's awesome. It's so smooth. <laughs> it looks and so it feels pretty. So nice. Yeah. I really like that straightener, guys. I'm so happy with it. There's another Adidas store here, so I'm gonna check here for bags. I couldn't find a bag last time. Look at this cute new shirt they have. It's got these see-through stripes. That's so cute. It's slightly cropped. I'm not sure how that would look on me. I don't really wear much cropped stuff, but the design is so adorable. Look at the name of this store. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> this is so creepy. <laughs> the Disney ones are cute. Yeah, something about these ones is really creepy. <laughs> it's furry and sparkly. I like the gray one. Yeah, that's really cute actually. Yeah. It's not warm at all though, but... <laughs> I'm obsessed with this color recently. I really like it. We're in Forever 21 now. They've got some funny accessories right now. This one's kind of cute. Nicole found the turkey hat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I love the color. I want a red one though. Oh, that is cute. Oh, look! Oh, oh they have like every color but red. Orange is kind of pretty though. <laughs> so cute. Nicole, look at this. Isn't that cute? I like that. For when I just have to carry a little bit. That's tempting. I might get that. There's so many of these like Skajan jackets. That one's really pretty though. <laughs> Need to stop buying them. I have like five. We got distracted by the Forever 21 sale. I got that pink fluffy bag. I think it was worth it. It was 30% off, so it was only 1,700 yen. It's super cute, especially with like all black clothes. I think it's cool to have like a pop of cute pink color, so I'm glad I got it. Let's see Pokemon, we're almost there. Look at all the gacha, anything good? Ooh, they got some sun and moon gacha out already. More down there. Oh, these are cute. I like those ones. The sleeping ones are cute too. Look at these. These are really cute. These are kind of neat. They're like stationary tools.
purses are so cute. Oh my god. This is actually one of my favorites. is adorable. <laughs> I wonder who drew those. Oh, there's plushies too. They're so cute. Oh my god, Bulbasaur looks so derpy. Oh, I love it. Aww. So this is the Christmas 2016 collection it's a surprise set of metal charms you don't know which set you're gonna get those would be so cute to hang on the Christmas tree uh, snow Pikachu is also freaking adorable and so fluffy so they just released a Pokemon Remint collection. This is the one item that I came here to buy. I'm gonna get the full set. As fun as it would be to get them one by one, I definitely want all the pieces, so. <laughs> you guys, they have a Pasmo Magikarp. Oh, oh, it's one of these ones. You can attach it to your bag and then like, I've always wanted one of those. That's so handy. <laughs> How much are they? 2,000! Uh. Oh, that would be adorable. Yay! What is it? Oh, a sand shoe. That's good. They're kind of rare around here. Oh, I love the colors. <gasps> that's a wedding one? Wow. That's so pretty. I guess they're wedding kimono. Wow. We're at Lush. Look at this awesome soap. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I want the whole thing. Man, I would love to work here and make these soaps. That would be so much fun. Oh, I can smell it from here. <laughs> There's a boy band performing right now. They were singing some Christmas songs a minute ago. Tsuki Kura is their name. Hey, what is the a Sanrio character that I don't know, but it's a grey cat. Nya Nyani Nyu Nyanyon <laughs> is the name apparently. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Best Christmas tree ever. Aw, good <laughs> Face masks that make you look like a cat. They look cute on the package, but when you put them on, they look like this. Maro's so famous, he has his own line of shampoo now. So they have like a selection of fake eyelashes, and you can take it and try it on your eye to find the one that looks good for you. <laughs> That's so cool. We're looking at the sticker section. Japan has the best stickers, guys. I could look at these for hours. There's a section over here just for cats. Here's the cat section. 
Look at how cute these are. <laughs> Sumo cats. The sticker looks like Mara, if only it had foldy ears and the fang was going the other way. Ah, oh, Peachin! Cottage folds. Look at all the washi tape. <laughs> and that's pretty. I'm on my way home now, riding my bike. It's freaking cold. I am going to freeze to death. Okay, let's go, guys. Got my bag full of Pokemon goodies. I'm gonna show you what I got when I get home. I got a couple other things too from different stores. Yeah, I'm home. It's freaking cold outside. I'm so happy to be back inside. Holy crap, it all of a sudden got like really cold in Japan. Knowing how the weather has been recently, it'll probably be like summer again tomorrow. Are you guys ready to see what I got? Okay, I'm gonna start with what I got at the Pokemon Center. They have lots of really cute stuff. It was hard to hold back. First of all, I got... I got four of the blind box metal charms. Two of these are going to be presents and the other two are going to be for me and keyboard son because I wanted to get some to put on our tree. I thought that would be really cute. Ah, uh, Snorlax. Oh, Litten's pretty cute too. I don't know which ones I want. Oh, Ponyta's really cute too. Oh man. And then I have to get this. This is a present to myself because this is just freaking amazing. I've never purchased any of the monthly Pikachus before, but obviously I had to get this one. <laughs> oh, it combines two of my favorite things, Pokemon and Lucky Cats, Maneki Neko. I absolutely love them. I have a collection of Lucky Cat figures at home back in Canada, so I figured this would be a good addition to my collection, and it's so well made, and it's just super freaking adorable and the Pikachus like have proper Pikachu ears under here and everything I just really love the Pokemon Center plushies they're always really well made next I got this pastel whale lord plushie for my sister I'm pretty sure this is one of her favorite Pokemon I hope I got it right and hopefully she's not watching this video if you are Merry Christmas this is your present I'm gonna be sending it to you <laughs> isn't this cute though Oh, so adorable. And saving the best for last, I got the Pikachu Remint Collection. The full set, all eight boxes. I cannot wait to unbox this, you guys. I want to do it right now, but I'm going to save it for another day because I want to do it properly. Ah, how exciting is this? Oh, the little Master Ball. Oh my god. Oh, the toaster. I want that in real life. This is like my dream house. I'm gonna model my future house after this remint set. And that is everything that I got from the Pokemon Center. Next, moving on to Tokyo Hands. Tokyo Hands is like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like a home store. There's lots of stuff for your house, like electronics and cooking supplies, stationery, uh, beauty stuff, a little bit of everything really. But I really love their stationery section so I got some really cute supplies to make a little scrapbook of the cats. This is the scrapbook that I got. It's a little booklet that folds out into like an accordion shape and there's three panels this side and then you can also use the back with three panels. So I got some really adorable pastel cat stickers. They're kind of hard to see. On the back you can see all the different designs that are in here. How cute are those? There's one that looks like Luna, so that's perfect. And then I also got these. They're kind of like washi tape, but they're like pre-cut and pre-shaped. But I thought these would be really nice for sticking on the scrapbook and like writing some notes, dates, or names or something. Just to spice up the pages a bit. I love the pastel space theme. I just had to get these. Next, I got something from Lush. I can't show you guys what's inside because this is also a Christmas present. So I'm not going to give it away, but it smells so good. I really don't want to give this away. So whoever is getting this, I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. 
it's making my house smell amazing. <laughs> And the last shop that I got something from was Forever 21. They were having a 30% off sale. And I just had to get the fluffy pink backpack. This is just perfect for me. I absolutely love it. I haven't seen a bag this cute in a long time. The straps are made out of this kind of material. I love the gold detailing with the pink. Ah, I love this bag so much. And it's the perfect size to just put in like camera, wallet, train pass, a couple makeup items. I love little bags and I think this will just be super cute with like a black and white outfit like I usually wear. This was 2,290 yen but it was 30% off so it came out to about 1,700 yen I think. Which is a pretty good deal for a super cute bag I think. Alright, so that's everything I got at the shopping center and when I got home, my package had arrived. I've been waiting for this for so long. This is a package from America, I believe. I ordered these online. It's a bunch of workout gear that I'm going to be using in the near future for a series that I'm doing. I'm not sure when that's going to start, but I wanted to get prepared. So I went online and I searched for really cute workout wear and this site had the cutest stuff. I think it's run by the girl that does vlog a -lotties. And this was the first thing I got. It is a workout planner for 2017. And it has pages where you can put in like your meal plans for the day and your workout plans. And I love organizing my schedule so much. So I thought it would keep me motivated to have a really cute planner for diet and workout stuff. So yay, I'm glad I got that. Dude, I'm a sucker for anything floral, so when I saw this on their website, I had to get it. Look at how pretty that is! So these are all the different symbols for each page. I won't go through them all, but I'll explain a little bit of it. Oh, look how pretty it is! So it's got full monthly spreads like this, and then the individual pages look like this. The bottles at the top here, you color one in every time you drink like a glass or a bottle of water to make sure that you've had enough water for the day. And then there's a space here to write down what you ate that day. And here you can write in what kind of workout you're planning for the day, how many hours you slept, and a checklist of things that you need to get done in the day. This is definitely motivating. <laughs> Having something like this will make me want to work out and just keep track of what I'm eating. And hopefully it'll help me stay a little healthier. There's also this cute section at the front, my dreams for 2017. A before picture. <laughs> That'll be really neat to put like a before picture here and then go through a year of meal planning and exercising and seeing how you end up after that's finished. Anyways, this is, this is cool. So I went with all black leggings, but they have some super cute detailing. On the side, there's some mesh panels that go all the way down, all the way down the side till this cute like twisted string detail on the ankle there. And these are gonna be super adorable. Ah, I can't wait to try these on. Oh, they have little pockets in the side. That's neat. That's great for putting in your phone or your Pokemon Go Plus. Are you ready for the best part? This top is freaking gorgeous. I was instantly attracted to this. How cute is this? Oh my god. It's so adorable. Like everything about it is adorable. The colors and the straps and a little bit of net detailing at the front. It's pretty padded so if you want to you could just wear this. I will most likely wear a tank top over it, but I just thought it would be cute to have like a really loose black tank top and then have these cute colorful straps and like the side of this pastel rainbow bra like sticking out the side of the shirt. I thought that would be really cute. I went with size 8 in both the top and the bottoms. Okay, I'm back. The sweater was on the floor for a whole minute and it's already covered in cat hair. <laughs> I tried them on and the top is a little tight. But I'm hoping once I tone up a bit, it'll fit a little better. I don't know. The leggings fit perfectly, which was my main concern because I do have some other tops I can wear, but this is my first pair of sports leggings. And yeah, I'm happy with how they fit. So that's awesome. I can't wait to put together an outfit with these. I think they're gonna be really cute. 
All right, time to read some questions. I saved a couple of my favorites that I read this morning. Um, DX Girly asked, did your fiance use a meat substitute in the pasta that I made in yesterday's vlog? Yes, he did. It's made by a company called Daizu Labo. It's a Japanese company and it's like a ground beef substitute made out of soy. I'll insert a picture of it here. Hopefully you can find it online. I'm not too sure if it's available because it is a Japanese thing, but if you can find it, it's really great. It's one of the best like ground meat substitutes that I've found. It's not dehydrated. It has moisture in it. It's in like a, a sealed pack. Um, so all you have to do is just take it out and add it to whatever food you would, just like you would with ground beef. So it's super convenient and it's great for lots of recipes. Cheyenne asks, what animes would you recommend? One of my all-time favorites is Duroni Kenshin. If you haven't seen it yet, do that. I think you can find it online. You should be able to. It's a really awesome anime. It's one of the first ones I ever watched, but I got so addicted that I watched the whole thing very quickly. I also read the entire manga. I think I read the manga before I watched the anime, but both are really awesome. The art is super cute and the story is lovely, so I think many of you guys would enjoy it. It's not a new anime, so many of you might have missed it, but I definitely recommend it as one of the ones that you should go back and watch. Okay, I've got a question for you guys today, so please answer this down in the comments. I want to know how you found my channel and what was the first video you ever watched. I'm really curious to know. And please give this video a like if you enjoyed it or a dislike if you really thought it sucked. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.